Yeah, hi. It's time to admit you messed up backing a Marxist anarchist movement like the BLM and allowed painting their deceptive motto in front of City Hall, no less. I told you so. They would produce violence, and the Marxist Malcolm X-inspired BLM sure delivered prediction. After $5 billion in national damages destroying also the livelihoods of the very people they pretend to represent and innocent others, after dozens of murders, unaccountable assaults, arson, intimidation, and worse yet, convincing thousands of people that violence, rioting, looting, and shoplifting is now justified, necessary, and is now normalized. I say accept your judgment error and remove it, unless, of course, you actually agree with the National BLM organization headed by the likes of Melinda Abdullah, who idiotically calls for the abolition and dismantling handling of the entire criminal justice system. Yeah, sure, don't acknowledge crime skyrocketed in cities dumb enough to be intimidated by the BLM mob's defund police uh, demands, or that the BLM sided with the communists Cuba oppressing their own people, and perhaps a council member should stop reading and listen a little bit, or when the Paris Coolers now owns millions of dollars of real estate and won't open the books, or that the movement was founded on the lie of the hands up, don't shoot, which never happened. The BLM is really dedicated to totally destroying both the justice system as well as our economic systems, because too many are Marxist anarchists who hate America or plain old violent extremist revolutionaries and will en- enrage as much racial hatred as they can invent to achieve that destruction. Take a peek around the world, educating yourselves what happens when violence is normalized. It's kind of a similar situation to the glorification symbol of the vast collection of LGBT morals hung all over the Civic Center well beyond its stale date of June, which represents a very diverse moral system, not all of which is particularly by a great many, such as what some think of as sociopathic sluttiness of many gay men who engage in sex with hundreds to a thousand different lifetime sexual partners or some kinds of gender child abuse. I totally respect individual freedom, go for it, but the government has no business loudly promoting what they consider as moral or as well as promoting the anti-American violence politics of the BLM and should confine itself to just making and enforcing law. Thanks. Uh,